Welcome back. This is Mr. Michael and this tutorial is talking about conical or also referred to as double bevel gears. So we're going to start off with the larger bevel gear this time. This is a 36 double bevel conical gear and see if I can get this to yes I can look at the teeth on that guy right here. That's pretty cool. Kind of pointed out there a little bit, kind of serrate it on the sides there and how you measure what kind of teeth these are. You just start from one side and it'd be 36 teeth uh, going around as bevel because of course it's curved unlike the, the spur gear that we had earlier in our earlier video. And this kind of gets into one of the eight tooth that kind of cornered off. These are more squared off, not not really straight. But so that kind of gets into some of the other gears. But this gear is a 32 double bevel or conical gear. This is one of the newer creations uh, that came out with Spike Prime and a few other sets, I believe. This is a 28 conical gear. 20 tooth conical gear and it comes in black and a really nice tan as well. I want to do these so we can do opposing color when we show some meshing and a 12. Get that into focus. There we are. 12 tooth conical gear and back out. Here we go. So 12 tooth, these conical gears are really, really awesome. In our other video, we talked about basic, some of the basic gears, and we talked about spur gear and how they work and turning at an angle. So the crown gear and the spur gear would go at a 90 degree angle. Fantastic. We can transfer energy here and not so much to spur gears trying to get in the groove there not not happening at all it's just going to be a lot of a lot of uh, missed opportunities there the conical gear is a really cool element because it works okay as a spur gear it does pretty good the teeth are they don't really kind of let's see if we can get you guys in there they don't mesh perfectly they're trying to make it happen there but what they do their, uh, their specialty is to turn in an angle. Now, when you turn in an angle, these, these guys lock in so well, it's amazing. So you say, great, 90 degree angle, what's the big deal? Well, the gears are so awesome, you can take them down in your model to get some of you trigonometry and geometry, science, you can figure out what angle this is at, you can get a decent mesh of gear here all the way through here, all the way over, I lost it, all the way over to back down to here, meshing. Now, I hope you're impressed by that. That not only works with the larger gear, but it works all the way through the smaller gear. So this is, again, this guy right here is new, so we we really only had an opportunity to work with these three sizes here for a long time. And then they threw this one in and we we're like, what? This is great because we needed it. And I'll talk about other videos on why we needed it. Since these are not your basic eight, 16, 24, and 40 tooth gear, these guys, they, the numbers are a little harder to calculate and they didn't really line up. So you would have two gears here and there would be a space. You're like, how do I mesh these gears? How do I get them to go? And then you put the 20, the 28 tooth in there and it just kind of filled in that gap. Thank you, Lego, for that. And the engineers that figured that out and the clients and the AFO members who uh, requested that. So back to angles. So you would get these, you can get these gears, even a, even a smaller, unlike you can do with the eight tooth gear this guy, it's really just a spur gear. It doesn't, it doesn't do any angle work for the most part. Now, so the guy right here will lock in there and that's where 
the opportunity comes in where I talked about not not working out really well. You can kind of get this to do a, a angle, kind of. It's, it'd be a little tough, but if you need something to go, not so much tension, not so much torque to work. But back to the 12 and a 36 here. Uh, you need to gear something up, great gear something down, great spur gear, yes. And then you turn an angle, you can gear it up and gear it down this way and even get into a smaller, let's see if I have this guy here, get another angle, maybe uh, pitch something out at a, at a uh, 88 degree angle. You have 90 degree, you have all the way down, uh, 80, maybe in the 70s, maybe even almost 60 degree uh, enclosure there. So again, you can you can really have a lot of create a lot of really cool machines out of this that allow you to uh, be more creative. Uh, different journeys you'll go on with these machines, different different models you can have, and you have the opportunity as well within these models, like I spoke of earlier, the top part you would have to spin freely and then you have an actual area here to lock in. And you can do a cam area. You can look at our 21 gun, 21 volley salute there where this is working with the EV3 and it's working well inside of that. And then you have this one here, which has all open frictionless areas. And when I say frictionless, Please understand it's not it's not a grooved piece there. So of course it's always friction, but they would call it frictionless because it, it works smoothly. This one actually has I didn't I never noticed this before. It has a it's not as tension in the middle part, although these are really really tight. This one is a little smoother. I, I didn't notice that until till now. So I'm, I learn as we go. Uh, here we have a pretty good friction here, and here it is. These are really really tight. So uh, working with these creations, you can also add your regular bevel inside of here. Your regular uh, crown gear works really well. You see those little teeth in there working hard? Maybe not. Let's see the little teeth working hard. Little teeth working hard in there. Locks in really well. Also what works well with these are the basic bevel, bevel gear. And you can see where that just like flattens in and that's, that's a really tight, happy place there. You have your regular bevel, it's a double bevel, and you have your your smaller as well. You have your 12, 12 bevel working in there. So you have a lot of a lot of great opportunity with these conical gear. They're they're not new new but they are they've surpassed the the spur gear and they've been around for a while. Kind of introduction into the Mindstorm uh, areas when getting into the EV3, the starter EV3 and I uh, hope you enjoy these these guys. If you don't have any, you can always go and order them from wherever your source of elements are and really reach out and get some of these. And it's really good for your math, doing ratio, how to gear different things up and even figuring out how to, how to get these to, to mesh with some of the other gear. They may not mesh direct in a, in a linear, area here you may have to offset them for them to line up and get and get a good flow where it's not too much friction and sometimes you'll have like a separation where your gears will skip and they're not meshing well so again thank you for uh taking a journey with me on on introducing a lot of these great gears please look for others i'll talk about bevel even some of the loose bevel uh, gear without the conical part in the middle, without the <laughs> axle part in the middle, and then we'll get into some differentials and some turntables as well. Thank you guys so much. Mr. Michael over and out.